Hello, I'm Amir Fasal. In this video, we learn about reduce function in Python. Okay, so reduce function. Uh, reduce is a higher order function and like the name implies it is about reducing uh, a sequence into a single value okay before uh, looking at the reduce function and its syntax and the working of it uh, we can uh, uh, okay so <laughs> reduce function uh, reduce receives a function and a sequence and it will uh, reduce it reduce it in, reduce the sequence it into a single value according to the function uh, given okay so before looking at the reduce function uh, let's create a normal function when i say a normal function not a higher order function um, addition function okay so first we are creating a normal uh, function add and it takes two arguments number one and number two and it returns uh, number one plus number two a normal nice looking function right uh, so add 3 comma 23 and we know the answer is 20 26 sorry 26 so yeah 26 uh, add thousand and two hundred thousand and thousand two hundred right and normal function uh, let's create a list of numbers uh, that is a list of numbers one two three four uh, and five five elements numbers is a list and it has five elements and let's create let's do the reduce function um, in Python 3 you can just use reduce like this because it is not in the built-in uh, it is not available as a built-in function we have to do something called importing importing uh, the the library func tools we can import func tools using import keyword import func tools and now we can use the uh, reduce like this func tools dot reduce and what is the function that we are going to use add okay add comma numbers numbers which is the list of one two three four and five and what happens 15 why we can see uh, one plus two is three and 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10, and 10 plus 5 is 15. Hence the answer. What happened here? We gave the fun uh, reduce uh, function, the function add, the input is a function, which is the function add. Uh, this is why it is a reduce is a higher order function, because it receives a function and a sequence numbers. And the numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And it, um, so the addition, the number 1 and num number 1 plus number 2 part, it, uh, it, the first element and the second element, they, the reduce function will apply it on the two elements. Then the result will be added to the next element in the next iteration. So in the next time, this ad added part will be added to this part, okay? So each time the number one will change into the added version. Ad so one plus two, one is the first number one. In the next time, one plus two is the number one and so on and so forth. So that's why 15. Let's create another function. Hope I'm not over complicating things. Um, the next function is mul uh, number one and number two. Um, sorry. Um, return def mul number one, number two. 
multiplication return multiplication of number 1 and number 2 okay mul of 10 comma 3 30 because 10 multiplied by 3 is 30 right so let's do the same um, reduce thing with mul here mul numbers 120 why because 1 multiplied by 2 is 2 2 multiplied by 3 is 6 6 multiplied by 4 is 24 and 24 multiplied by 5 is 120 right so this is what happens we don't actually have to supply the function uh, like this we don't have to create the function we can actually use a one liner with the lambda expression so how can we do that fung tools dot reduce uh, lambda x comma y i can choose number one and number two but i'm just using x and y for simplicity um, comma this is exactly like mul or add right so we don't have to create a function we just have to supply the function without a name anonymous function anonymous means without a name unnamed function a one-liner so lambda x comma y x plus y and we just have to supply the list one two three four and five and 15 see um, 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 3 is 6 um, 10 and 15 15 we, we can do the same for multiplication I'm just doing uh, I'm just changing the addition to multiplication by changing the plus symbol to asterisk so now 120 why because if you multiply all these numbers together you get 120 okay um, for easiness I'm just saying reduce equals fung tools dot reduce a simple assignment now I can use without the fung tools thing <laughs> see uh, reduce la so okay uh, 120 let's use another example uh, reduce lambda um, a string st string 1 comma string 2 and the return body is concatenation of string 1 and string 2 okay that means if it is a uh, grape and if it is mango the the result will be grape mango without a space so yeah and I'm supplying a list here uh, mango grape uh, lemon what happened it redu it reduced the sequence the list or the iterable into a single string mango grape lemon without a space why because the lambda function here uh, does the concatenation in its body right um, this is plus we can use plus for concatenation in python if string 1 and string 2 are strings the plus will just concatenate the two, the two operands okay so okay we understand this right and let's say let's do something else too in this example we can see lambda x y two arguments and this is x plus y and what happens if the list oh if the list has only one element only one element it will return the first element okay you might think oh this is x plus y only one element is supplied that's how reduce works okay if it is only one element it will re just return the first element as the result what if it is empty wow that's a problem reduce of empty sequence with no initial value reduce function we can actually g give a optional initializer value in this case I can say zero right because there is no element to add so addition this is addition so I say just zero please give it zero and 
what happens if I give 0 and just 1? Again 1 because this is an initializer value, a default value. The 0 will be added to 1 and 1 plus 0 is 1. And what happens if I say 2, 3, 4? The same answer as before, 15, right? So we have to be careful with the selection. The, we have to be careful with what we choose as the initial value. It shouldn't be something wrong. And for multiplication, what happens for z what if we give 0 for multiplication? This is wrong because we know that if we multiply with 0, any value will become 0, right? For that, for multiplication, we should supply 1 as the initializer value. See, 120. And for multiplication, what if there is only one element? 1, that's correct. But if there is no nothing, here we gave the initializer value 1. So for empty list, uh, the for multiplication, we can say, oh, 1 is the answer. The re reduction, the re reduced f uh, value is 1 because we give the initializer value 1, okay? And what are we going to give for the string function? Uh, we can actually give a an empty string, right? An empty string. See? Mango, grape, lemon. For only for a list with only one element and initializer value is an empty uh, string mango correct and for nothing a list with nothing in it n an empty string is the result so careful uh, with be careful with what you choose as the initializer value so again reduce is a higher order function and it returns if it it takes a function as an input value and a sequence uh, that is a list or a, a tuple or whatever and an, an optional initializer um, so uh, initializer and it it returns a reduced value if there is no nothing in it uh, if the sequence is an empty uh, sequence, the initializer will be the value, okay? So I hope you understood this and please subscribe to my channel and like this video, share this video and thanks for watching.